Hi, I'm Graham Steele, CEO and founder of CryptoSense, and today I'm going to talk to you about GCP KMS, the Google Cloud Platform Key Management Service. So if you subscribe to the channel, which you should, you might have already seen our video comparing the key management services of Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. So these two cloud service providers are the biggest by market share at the moment, but Google also has a cloud which is rising fast in adoption and has a number of services on it that people particularly want to use around things like machine learning and analytics and so on. So it can be interesting to look at the GCP KMS because this is what you're going to use if you make a workload for Google Cloud and you want to keep your data, sensitive data secure. So remember how KMS services all work. They all work in roughly the same way. They have a set of master keys that they keep inside a protected area. So it could be a protected piece of hardware or software. Usually that's up to you to decide. But in any case, they're kept away from your workload, away from your application and its data. Uh, and then when you need to encrypt and decrypt data, you create a data key, use the data key to encrypt the data, then encrypt the data key under the master key and store it. Uh, and then when you need to decrypt the data, you send back the encrypted data key to the key management service. It does the decryption for you, gives you back your data key, and then you can decrypt your, your data on your, on your workload. So the first thing to note is that GCP KMS is a lot closer to AWS KMS in its design and philosophy than uh, Azure. And that's because the master keys in GCP are symmetric keys, they're AES 256-bit keys, just like they are in AWS KMS. They're not asymmetric key pairs like they are in Microsoft Azure. So you'll see quite a lot of the similar kind of operations there. Uh, at the moment, it's the same encryption mode that's being used behind, uh, and various kinds of the stuff will, will be familiar to you if you've been working with AWS KMS. You can do uh, RSA operations using the GCP KMS and have RSA keys as master keys. In particular, you can use them for uh, signature, for signing things. Uh, but a notable thing that you won't find anywhere on GCP uh, KMS that you do find in hidden corners on the AWS KMS uh, is encryption using RSA in PKCS1 1.5 mode. So for example, if you want to do bring your own key, so if you want to encrypt your own key in your own uh, data center and send it to GCP KMS, so you're sending them an AES key to use, you do that under uh, RSA encryption with OAEP uh, padding, which is a secure version. You don't do it with PKCS1 1.5 padding. So the reason for that is simply that PKCS1 1.5 padding has attacks, chosen ciphertext attacks. Um, particularly those attacks uh, were first uh, published by a cryptographer called uh, Daniel Bleichenbecker uh, way back in 1998. Uh, and he's actually uh, head of cryptography for Google now. So maybe it's not so surprising that uh, he's completely eliminated uh, any use of that version 1.15 padding for RSA. So you've got RSA for signature. You can bring your own keys with RSA, but with only with OAP secure encryption. And you have AES256 bit keys as your master keys. Uh, another particularity of the GCP KMS is it has a feature which uh, currently the other two don't offer that allows you to back off those master keys to a third party provider. So if you don't want uh, Google to be the ultimate custodian of your master keys, you can select from one of their partners and that partner will actually hold the key for you. Uh, and that allows you to, for example, um, if you wanted to, you could uh, cut the connection between uh, Google and your, your third party key store and be sure that Google can continue to look at your data because they wouldn't have access to the master keys anymore. Uh, and maybe depending on how you feel about those two uh, suppliers, your partner and, and, um, and Google, maybe you'd have more confidence or maybe it might meet your compliance requirements to have those uh, keys backed off uh, elsewhere. Uh, so that's an interesting little uh, the feature that, that Google has uh, and not the other two at the moment. So if you want to find out more about the differences between GCP and the other CSPs, key management services, uh, we have a comparison document about that on our website. We have a whole deep dive in a white paper if you really want to go into the, the nitty gritty. Um, we'll put some links for that into the, the comments uh, below. Uh, if not, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you stay up to date with crypto news as it happens here on the CryptoSense channel. And I hope to see you here again soon. Thank you.